In this video, I'm going to talk about ring circuit continuity. And one question that comes up is, how do we know what the end-to-end -end readings should be? So we measure the line, the neutral, and the CPC end-to-end. -end. The first thing to point out is that the readings should be the same, except where the CPC is a reduced cross-sectional area. We would expect the end-to-end -end reading for CPC to be higher than the line and neutral. To find out what we should expect the readings to be, we can find the answer in table I1 of the on-site guide. Table I1 provides values of milliohms per meter for various cable sizes, which we can use to work out what to expect the readings to be by multiplying the value by the length and a correction factor, and then dividing by 1000. You'll notice that the table gives a value of 2.5 mil line conductor, which we can use to work out the readings for end-to-end -end for the line and neutral. And then below that, you'll see 2.5 millimeters plus a 1.5 millimeter protective conductor, which we can use to work out the R1 plus R2. I talk about R1 plus R2 in another video on my channel, and I'll put a link at the end of this video. So to work out what to expect the end-to-end -end readings to be, we take the value for the size of conductor and calculate as follows. Milliohms per meter, multiplied by length, multiplied by correction factor, and then divide by 1000. The values on table I1 are based on an ambient temperature of 20 degrees C. If the ambient temperature is other than that, there are correction factors on table I2 for 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and 25 degrees. For 20 degrees, the factor is 1. If the ambient temperature is not shown on the table, then there is a formula below that which shows how to adjust for different temperatures. So if we assume the ambient temperature is 20 degrees, then we can simply work out the end-to-end -end value by multiplying the length by the value for milliohms per meter and then dividing by 1000. So for example, if we know that we have used 50 mixes of 2.5 millimeter cable, we can take the value of 7.41 milliohms per meter, multiply by 50 and then divide by 1000, which will give us 0.37 ohms. As I mentioned previously, the correction factor for 20 degrees is one because the values are based on 20 degrees. When calculating R1 plus R2, it's necessary to adjust for operating temperature, which is mentioned in table I3 on the on-site guide. And I also talk about that in my previous videos, so please see those videos at the end of this video. Another thing to point out is that if the line and neutral conductors have very different uh, readings, or if there's continuity on one but not the other, then this could mean a loose connection and would need urgent investigation. So if you're ever carrying out an EICR, and you get a continuity reading for the line conductor, but not the neutral, or vice versa, it is likely that there is a loose connection somewhere which could be potentially dangerous. Thank you for watching. Please see the link to the other videos on my channel, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click on the notification bell to be the first to hear about new videos like this.